How's it going, guys? So the purpose of this short clip is to address a concern slash misconception that some students have been having about the High Yield Arrows PDF, especially on Reddit. It has been to my observation that occasionally a student will make a thread saying, e.g., is it worth it to go through High Yield Arrows, okay? And then some students will make a couple comments that I just want to quickly address here. Very fucking important, okay? So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. Find me on Telegram. Recently created Telegram group and channel. Links are down below. Now let me get back to the point of this clip, which is High Yield Arrows PDF. Now, I've made various prior clips articulating the importance of this PDF in terms of getting you to pass the step one slash school comp slash CBSE. And I've discussed how you need to close the gap on EG, the 160s, 170s, get you up to 210. Now, of course, step one's pass fail now, but when we want to close that gap, save you fucking time so you're not off studying obscure superfluous information high yield arrows encapsulates that information fucking excellently okay the biochemical variables electrolytes what direction parameters should go hematologic bleeding time pt ptt etc now the misconception that some students have been having is as i said before a student might make a thread saying is it worth it to go through high yield arrows and some students will reply, I came out of my exam, I only had two arrow questions or three arrow questions. And the misconception is, it's not that you're going to go into your exam and get 50 fucking arrow questions where you literally have up or down arrows as your answer choices. That's not what I'm talking about in terms of high yield arrows. That's not the purpose of the document in a literal sense. Recognize that when you get a vignette on the exam, they might give you serum versus urinary osmolality when we're talking about DISIDH, psychogenic polydipsia. They might give you potassium, sodium, bicarb, pH when we're dealing with an aldosterone related question. So those are the concepts you need to know. The same concepts embedded within a vignette where the question itself has nothing to do with actual up or down arrows as the answer choices, okay? So that's the misconception I want to clear up is that you're not going to get 50 fucking arrow questions. And I just bring some elucidation to this because, as I said, it's been to my observation that uh, repeatedly, especially on Reddit, people have had some concerns about the number of arrow questions that are going to show up on their real deal. No, you're not going to get 50 fucking arrow questions, as I said, okay? It's the concepts that are embedded slash integrated within the vignettes. That's what High Yield Arrows represents, okay? And I'll link it down below in the comments, a pinned comment. Very fucking important to get you through the step one slash school comp cbsc you know the deal i'm going to continue to make more content if you like my stuff subscribe to my channel and i appreciate your time that's it